Ho oh, ho ho! Howdy, Paul! Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. I'll put that on blue. It's a little bright on my eyes. How are you today, Paul? Are you feeling better? I'm drinking my coffee, man. Mm. It's so good. So, so good. You said howdy. And why does it have band next to your name? What is that? We'll have none of that, I say. Let me get started to see if I'm even online. You ready? I'm going to need your help with the AV here. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I got a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody. Everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Nah, nah, hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, so come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q. Oh, oh, I'm so worried. One of these days, I'm going to leave my microphone on by accident during my intro. And nobody wants to hear that. Woo! So, oh, whoops in the house. Hi, beautiful people. Let's get tagged. Liquid Zoo only fins. Hello, hello. AV sounds good. So good to hear. Thank you. Shady Grady, what's happening? Huh? Fish Dreams, hello, Mike's Aquatics and Things, how are you doing? Yeah, yes, Mike, 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 oh my gosh, that commercial is so funny. Uh, as soon as I just went live, I guess it's my voice down here, I'm right underneath my puppy, well, they're not pu I guess they're still puppies, 16 months, they're puppies. They just started barking, like I just woke them up, they know I'm awake down here, and they're upstairs, and they're not happy, they want to be with me all the time, I love it. I love it. Where'd it go? Wait. Ooh, 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 my little axolotl pin. La la la. Hello, hello there. Mikey, did you stream earlier? I gotta watch it. Did you say something about it your last stream? I gotta watch it, man. Back from the NEC conference. I'm so sad that I couldn't go. But I was brightened up my day when Skipper's Aquatics. Got one of my mugged by Q stickers at the NEC because I had made Greg Jones some uh, things. That was oh my granddaughter's in the house. Sarah O'Connor saying hi, Grammy is really Zoe O'Connor. Hello, Zoe. She's my nine-year-old. Woot woot woot. But I'm a little sad I wasn't able to go. The only offers I got for roommates were two dudes, and that's not gonna work. But I was able to cancel my room in time. And I think I'm just going to concentrate on saving my money and going to The Clash. Because, of course, you know I want to enter into the art contest. I have been inspired by Ed, and I just am so excited about it. Mike said, yeah, this morning. i got to go watch it then. Thanks again for the awesome stickers, Susie. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you, Shady Grady. Fun. Linda Worth, what's up? I saw you in only Oscars, but I don't know if you know it was me. I felt I felt I didn't have time. I didn't want to because there was contest going on. Log out of my other account and log into Q Aquatics, so I was there as Miniax or Mini Accused, whichever you say. And I don't want to make it seem like I was cheating. You know, two accounts, two tries. I was like, I'll just stay put. I'll just stay put. Even June kept. I don't think she knew who I was. Johnny Bravo, Flash from the Past, what's going on, Johnny? What is going on? My granddaughter and I, which sparked my thumbnail tomorrow, is it tomorrow? We'll be watching the eclipse. We're going to be outside in a park enjoying 
the 90% view we're going to have of the clips. I'm watching, you know. Um, we're right next to the river. There's a dike, and it's a tidal river. So it flows both ways, but it's low tide at the time, so it's flowing that way. It's going to be so exciting just to see what's what. I've never, I, I can't remember all they say it hasn't happened in our lifetime, so. But I feel very blessed that we are got like 90% that we get to see where I live. My youngest daughter, for her celebrated birthday, went up to Maine. They're going to see 100%. So cool. I'm just legacy. I wish you didn't have the word just in there, Melvin. I'm legacy. No just about Melvin. <laughs> So that's what sparked that is the total eclipse. I am so excited about this. Like, I'm just going to take it all in. We're going to meditate before we go outside. We're going to be in good space and we're going to enjoy whatever is going on. Like, how exciting is that? I can't think of a better lesson. We can call it science. We can call it social studies. We could call it whatever. Life experience is going to be amazing. Is anybody else in the path of this eclipse? I'm gonna gonna watch it. I thought about going live, but I want to. It's kind of like when you bring a camera, you kind of miss a lot of things because you're looking through your lens. I want to look through my mind. I want to look through my heart. I want to see it myself. So pretty exciting. Yes, and I couldn't help. But put that as my thumbnail. I just couldn't help because I know I'd learned maybe last year that my fish in the aquarium get affected by a storm outside. And because I guess I never put two and two together that they feel a barometric pressure drop. So somebody told me. I said, that's pretty cool. Uh oh. John Baga. John Baga. Oh, did the dogs eat? Not yet. Not yet. Larry D. What's up? I got to meet the Captain Malcolm Reynolds today. The Quad City Swap. In addition to Sketty, Foxy, Pep, Cheyenne, oh, Shane, and Dustin, plus Jason from Prime Time. Who doesn't love talking to Jason from Prime Time, right? That sounds amazing. That sounds so much fun. So fun. Is the eclipse tomorrow or Tuesday? I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I have it on my calendar for Tuesday. No, it's not in my calendar. I know I put it in there. Oh, I'm going to have to double check with somebody who, uh, somebody else who cares. Somebody who cares. Thank you, Susie Q, for the suggestion to drop the just, right? I'm Legacy. Ooh. Hear me roar. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark Sturlson. I have been listening to and following a lot of people that are from the UK, one Australia, mostly the UK. Not Dustin Austin from Fantastic. Oh, Dustin Austin from Fantastic Freaks. Awesome. I really want to watch it. Somebody record it, please. Does it work that way? Can you capture that on a camera? Maybe I'll bring my camera outside and just set it up and I will still watch. I think that'll be cool. My fingers need an intervention. <laughs> I hear the dogs going crazy. John must be letting them out and getting ready for dinner. I think he thought I might have fed them. John Baggum might be a little irritated with me right now. <laughs> what no? No, he's all right. He's all right. Do you guys want to see Triton? How great he looks! Are you ready? I am so relieved and so happy. I don't want the microphone. Look at this beauty! Look how great he looks. Hello, buddy. You gonna come around this way? Come here. Turn around, bright eyes. Here he goes. You see his wound is almost healed. 
look at that so much better than before still discolored but there is it's all cleaned up now and I think it's healing beautifully he's back to eating I'm so happy I'm so glad I didn't do nothing you know what I mean so happy I was so worried yeah he looks great doesn't he Linda I'm so happy Larry says the eclipse yes but it damaged the camera if focus if focus too long it will Well, maybe I won't focus it on the eclipse, but the effects of the eclipse. What, you know what I mean? Sorry, guys. I know you're ready for bed, but I'm not. Oh, my gosh. I knew you'd get it done. I'm so happy. I was so happy. I was so worried. You know, because I don't know if I told you, but my frog that I was nursing back to health was not as lucky. He did not make it. And I think I over-nursed him. And I probably should have just let him be, but I couldn't. Cause, but he just it was so sick. He wasn't eating. It was so sad. I had him many years. I'm thinking about getting another one, but I'm not, not right now because it hurts. Isn't that silly? It's a frog. It's a frog for criminy jackets. I was wondering if it would work too. Well, we're going to see. I'll bring my camera out. I'll have two uh, batteries. I'll kind of point it near the sky, not at the sky, but near the sky. And then we'll see. And as it's getting close, maybe I'll be able to put it up just for that, like, what? I'm pretty excited. I also have some spiritual friends from all over, like, and they're saying this is going to be great. This is going to be an amazing experience. It's not just an eclipse. And I don't even know what they mean by that, but I don't care. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. It's going to be exciting. Now, what was not exciting? What was it, two days ago? Um, and our lesson plan again changed to the earthquake that I felt. Never felt an earthquake like that in my life. I don't think I've ever even felt an earthquake. But it was a, I think it was a 4.9 on the Richter and shook and, and glasses were shaken and and right when I was like okay we're done it kept going for a little bit longer and then that night there was a tremor so it happened again and it was very loud it was very loud but I was like wow that was an earthquake so then we had to start learning about what causes earthquakes I didn't look up we didn't talk about what happens as a consequence of earthquake sometimes because I don't want to scare her I was only answering questions for what she was asking so we we talked about what makes the earthquake like that it was pretty cool especially since nobody I know got hurt so that was good well nobody got hurt that I know of at all <laughs> but that was pretty exciting for me pretty exciting and I thought what would happen if there was a rip a, a, an earthquake like my tanks like I can't even imagine like there is no coming down saving it's just like what but it was funny because I heard that any money song that's not only thing shaking <laughs> I saw any money in 1970, in the late 70s, Eddie Money and I think he opened for the Doobie Brothers. Eddie Money. Yeah, I think it was the Doobie Brothers that he opened for. Like, what? That was a long, a long time ago. Just thinking, that was back in the 70s. That was 50 years ago. What? My mind has been blown. That was 50 years ago that I was actually going to concert. I, I have no words. I have no words. Like, I have no words for that. <laughs> but anyway, so those are some of the things. I scanned my yard. To try to figure out who's any money. 
Whip, do you want to? Who's who's got? Let's see here. <laughs> I think I don't know if I can bring a song up. Can I? Can I bring a song up? No, but I sing songs, but I never worry about not getting monetized because of the songs I'm singing, because I sing off-key, and I don't ever worry about anybody recognizing the real song from what I am singing. This isn't working either, huh? Oh, boy. Well, oh, that's because I am signed in as somebody else. I'm trying to make some moderators here. Lord, I'm old. Exactly, right? You and me both, brother. Yeah, I know it, brother. Indeed, I know it, brother. All right. Where is Q Aquatics? Q Aquatics. I don't even know how to spell Q Aquatics. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Q Aquatics. Why didn't I pick such a hard name? Why did I pick such a hard name, man? Okay, so now I'm bringing this up. Hopefully there will be no... Anybody want to be mod? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Because I think... Uh, Ooh, uh, there are no mods here. Wait, you're 53 and don't know who Eddie Money is? Not possible. <laughs> Anybody enjoy modding? Freaky? Anybody? Lordy? Anybody? 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 All right. Made whip a mod. I don't even know if he knows what the mod is. He probably does. You do live streams now, bud. I feel young in some live chat. Hey, I'm a mod. Yes, you are. Just in case you wanted to post any any money songs. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just realized I don't have one. What do you need? Oh, I don't need anything. <laughs> Please. It's, I'm very low maintenance. Very low maintenance. Don't need anything. Don't ban anybody. Don't care about anything. Sure, Susie Q. There we go. We got a taker. See, I recruited Whip. He got volunteered. So, thank you, Larry. Exotix enjoys it. What? What kind of creature are you? Here we go. We got three now. <laughs> Ah. Woo, freaky, we got four. This is fun. Now I know why Father Fish does this. <laughs> That's right. I think Bob is sick. I don't know where Sam is. Mike, I thought Mike was a mod, but where'd he go? He'd be gone. He was here. No, Mike's a mod, but I don't know if he's still here. Oh, look at that. Now we got... You need any money songs, right? I want Petsotics to see. I want him to be able to click on that and hear. Voluntold. Exactly. You've been voluntold. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> it's funny, funny, funny. Eddie money. Oh. So, whip, you got drafted. <laughs> Didn't he, though? I, um was looking for at my axolotl eggs, and I removed them all. Oh, there's Mike. Good. I'm glad you're here. He's my mod, too. I removed them and put them in the freezer for a humane... I guess it's... What is there? I can't say the word on YouTube what it is, but... Because they didn't look normal. And that's all I can say. You know how when you have axolotl eggs, and you can see the axolotls and what they look like, as they, this is was something was wrong. So no judgment on any of my axolotls. I just said not this time because I don't know what happened. I did bring a couple home from my Bucks County Aquarium Society. So 
I'll just wait and see to the next time. And so, and then, because I feel like I'm this big ogre, right? Which I know there's a lot of fish keepers out there just like me, that I'm not going to waste like eggs. I put them in for such and such to eat that eats fry or eat, eats eggs or something. And I was at uh, doing my grocery shopping at PetSmart, getting some superworms, crickets. What else did I get? Oh, they had ghost shrimp. So I'm like, oh. those are like my mudskipper's favorite entertainment to chase, capture. It takes a very long time for them to get them, but that's okay. They have a blast. It's entertaining. And I was starting to tell the woman this, and she said, oh, no, no. These aren't, these are for cleanup crew. And they're not for eating. And I said, they're going to be cleaning up that tank. That's good. I feel so bad. Yeah, it was it's uh it was hard to do actually. It was hard to do. But I lied to the pet smart lady. Mm. But I did put them upstairs in my fresh water where they're with my I guess adopted fish where people are like, you know, I don't want to keep fish tank anymore. Do you want this glow in the dark tetra? I'm like, sure, I'll take it. Or this one or the, remember when my granddaughter, Zoe, are you still in here? You remember when she took out fish from a tank and was acclimating them and just decided to move them around? Well, there were some fish that I couldn't put back to where they were. So they're in there. And what, else? what other fish is in there? They're just like oddball, not oddball fish, mismatched. I put the, the ghost shrimp in there. And then I got my shrimp net. So if I want one or two to clean up the mud skipper tank, I'll put them in there. But does anybody know how you breed ghost shrimp i have a brackish water tank nobody is just like you susie they broke the mold thank goodness right oh my gosh could you imagine what is a ballpark price on what axolotls are going for now i think they're like 40 dollars. i think if you go to a store they're like you might be able to get a wild type for like 25 30 um some of the more rarer morphs or the prettier morphs, I guess, or just morphs in particular are a little bit more money. Especially like the Dirty Lucies. They're like leucistic, but have some wild, the coppers, they're really beautiful. But I would say starting at about 40. Now what I like to do when I have healthy eggs, I will ship out 10 to 15 eggs, fertile eggs to anybody who wants them, if, as long as it's okay in their state, you just gotta pay for shipping. And I don't charge anything for the axolotl eggs. But if you want to try to raise axolotls, that's great. Go for it. Oh, look who's here. Dix's signs. A hand pink waving. I'm here. Sorry, I'm late. I was at the Father Fish. Oh, with the crazy plant lady. When I worked at Petco, people would ask me, are ghost shrimp ornamental cleaners or feeders? I told them, depending on where you put them. <laughs> And what fish is in the aquarium? That is very, very true. Very true. And an albino axolotl went for $100 at the NEC auction today. Wow. That's amazing. It also depends on the audience. But when I get fertile eggs, I will ask everybody in the chat, and I'll do this for a couple weeks, because while they're eggs, they're very hardy, sturdy. It's easy to ship. I will ship them to whoever knows about axolotls and wants to care for them and raise them and try them, but I do not charge money. So you would just pay shipping. But they got to be healthy eggs. I'm not going to ship out because I was just about to announce I've got eggs because once they start wiggling there, now they're getting a little more sensitive. I could try to scoop them up. They might bust out. But while they're in the egg form and they're not, like, in the, and I can see that they're fertile, they're pretty hardy. Who got, there's a couple different fish keepers. I got a lot of my axolotls and they lived and they breeding and they're great. They're great. Everyone's saying hey to Dixie Chicks. Just get in touch with Foxy. She has about 80. She, it's Foxy is, is somebody who's got my axolotl eggs and started a breeding project. Or she's already in a breeding project, got more of my eggs. And so she's told me I'm a grandmother again for more axolotl eggs. Yes. Absolutely. 
But you can get them from your friends probably for like nothing. But if you go to a store, you might pay anywhere between forty, fifty dollars for the you know a wild one. And they're so fun to keep, and they're so easy to keep. As long as you keep the water temperature in the 60s and the water clean, I'm going to say not like any tank because some of our, I'm talking clean because they're pooping machines, keep them fed. Save some babies for the BCAS auction in September. Really? You think so, Alishan? Last time we had axolotls in our, oh, that was a meeting, the meeting auction. Nobody wanted them. Fish dreams that I would enjoy. Okay, when I have fertile eggs, I'll, I'll make the announcement again. I got axolotls from Q, and they were so adorbs. Yay! That's awesome. That's that's what I'm talking about. If Because I know what it's like. Like I want to try to raise and keep and nurture so many different fish and amphibians, but I can't afford it. But if I got friends that are going to share or like I'll send you these, you send me some like plants or whatever. Bartering system works good for me in my life. I may not have much, but what I got, I'm willing to share for what I need. <laughs> ah. And speaking of what I need, where'd it go? I was at these... <laughs> My Bucks County Aquarium Society, and they had these little packets of freebies from Super Super Cichlids. They're the Nano Bits. My fish are going crazy for these, crazy. So I put them in in here with the um, Pandagora. I put them down there with my lipstick Gobi, which I didn't think the lipstick Gobi would go for it. I thought he'd try it and spit it out. They loved it. They loved it. The Discus love these. And of course, the endlers did they eat anything? The mountain minnows eat anything? But my these are like some particular eating fish. They don't just eat anything, and they love these. They were free. I was so excited. They were also got some freeze dried. What were they called? Wrigglers. They were like, it was like a pellet, a skinny, skinny pellet that went like that. Because with this many tanks, even just giving them a treat. And I went to the store and got frozen blood worms and forgot to put them in the freezer. So when I saw them, they were all thawed. So I cut them all open and everybody but my Oscars got a little taste of blood worms. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do with them now? I didn't put them in the freezer. I'm like, Tah. you know who liked those? My CPDs loved those blood worms. They went crazy. And I don't know... What age do CPDs stop breeding? Because I think mine are pretty darn old. But I would really like to have them in a tub project outside as well. The CPDs, definitely my White Cloud Mountain Minnows, which is what I was saying earlier. I went outside to try to assess my yard. OMG. No, no, no. It is so bad from last year. I was lazy in the fall. And now I'm paying a price for it. I mean, ugh. I can't even believe that. Like, it's very, it wasn't, I didn't, it didn't go to waste. Everybody got to eat some. I was just going to save them for the baby axolotls. But that's when I went down and saw them. I'm like, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it is. Dang, it sounds like something it would do, Q. Yeah. Yeah, I do things like a lot of people do. Like, if you're the type of person that gets hyper-focused on one thing and goes down a rabbit hole until, you know, a butterfly flies by and then you go, like, and just start 25 projects and do none, yeah. I think I got a lot of friends just like that. So I feel comfortable talking about that. There are times that it's not appropriate. I have friends that... They don't experience that at all. Everything, in the, they have what they need. Everything's in their place. They're on a task. They stay on task till it's completed. Then they reassess and do it like, oh my gosh, how could you not do 25 things at one time and get nothing done? Like, you're not living. <laughs> Here we go. Eddie Money Max, look at you. YouTube playlist. 
Here we go. Where's Pet Sonics? <laughs> you gotta click it. I guarantee you know some of those songs. You just don't know his name, maybe. Yes, I am that. Yes, I am like that. Which is good, because I find a lot of people who collect things, like, I'm not saying I collect fish, but I am a collector. I have miniature displays. I have, like, all, I, just, I collect things. I'm a collector. <laughs> have that same thing. And I think there's something to it. We're also the type of people that go down these, journeys that we shouldn't be on before somebody snaps us out of it or we crash and burn. It's like, hmm. And I used to think it was just me and that there was something wrong with me. But now i got a whole bunch of friends just like me. <laughs> so, if there's something wrong with me, then that's good. I'm in good company. <laughs> that's not normal. It's, see? Maybe there's the weird one. Bingo! That's what I'm starting to think. Or... People alike minded tend to swarm together. I couldn't think of the word. What do humans do? If fish school, right? Do we swarm? No. Do we huddle? No. What do, what do humans do when they get together and all move? That's so funny. I never thought about that. Fish Dream says, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate that very, very much. Very much. So I'm assessing my yard. And there's the side yard that's always been lush green grass. Which is where I designated where the puppies could go to stay away from the chickens. And that is, there's not a blade of grass left. And there's quite a few holes dug deep. And a lot of bombs all over, so that needs to be cleaned up. And that's also where my tubs were towards the end of the last year. And they were just baby puppies. And they destroyed my tubs. So my tubs can't go in the same place where my dogs play. Because they play. They're Labradors, man. They God, Humans fight. <laughs> yes, birds flock. Gather. Tribe, okay, I like gather. We gather together. Yep, 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 I like gather. We fight. Now, I was going to say, when three girls or women get together, I should say immature women, get together, there's almost always a fight. Almost always a fight. Or somebody's ganged up on somebody, or silently snubbed somebody, or perceived snub. Oh my gosh, I raised four daughters. Girls are... Boys, they don't care. They just they just play. They don't care. They play. They knock things over. They bump into things. They fall off and scrub their... The girls is a whole different animal. And I'm seeing it now with my granddaughter. But I'm a little bit more removed from it. And I can see it. I also see it with some grown women that are emotionally immature. It's like, what are you, in high school? Like, did you ever grow up? Like, what's... Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, aren't we supposed to have each other's backs? I'm not saying all women have to unite. Okay, maybe I am saying that. But I think we should have each other's backs. All humans, humans should have each other's back. This world is hard enough, right? Here I'm going to go. I'm going to go putting out pixie dust and unicorn spray. And everything's going to be happy ever after. We'll wait for the eclipse. You never know. As long as I have that attitude during the eclipse, it's going to be a freaking amazing. I know it. I know it. Surf City Cichlids. Hello there, Susie. And hi, everyone. Happy Sunday. It is a happy Sunday. Second Sunday in a row. We have new people with us now caravanning to church, gathering to go to these church. We are church hopping, trying to find... What if they're a-holes? Well, that's it. That's just the whole part of is that emotional matureness. You know you got friends that are a-holes that you know how to treat respectfully and not be an a-hole back to them. And if you don't, then you're probably the a-hole. But I know you whip. That's not you. My granddaughter is nine also. She... Uh, <laughs> is it not so funny watching her? I love watching her play the way she thinks how she processes things. I just love it, love it, love it. 
But anyway, our church caravan, we're in a quest to find an Episcopal church that has a young youth gathering. <laughs> Clutch. Gathering. I'm going to say gathering. We decided gathering. And because I want to get her a little bit more active in the singing part, the choir, uh, the chorus, the, um, the play together. But I have to know we're somewhat like-minded. Somewhat. You know, no, me, I'm the whole. <laughs> That's me too, but, but I'm not. I, I try really hard not to be the whole, but I am the whole. <laughs> uh, but I try hard not to be, and I act as if I'm not. So even if there's an a-hole around, I'll give them a smile. I'm not going to ruin their day. I'm not going to play their game. I had a very wise woman in my life that told me, just because somebody throws the ball in your court doesn't mean you have to play. You don't just walk away from that ball. I'm like, I was like dumbfounded. I was like flabbergasted. I'm like, like if somebody gives me, I got to give it back. Like, what do you, what do you mean? I don't have to, what? And it took many, many trial and errors of being around a lot of holes <laughs> to get practicing it. And it's like, oh, Oink Master Supreme's in the house. I quit trying. I am who I am. And I love who you are, Whip. Hi, Q Aquatics, dearest Susie. That's me. You be a lady I would like to eclipse party with. Cue up that mirror ball popcorn. I got the popcorn. I got the lawn chairs. I don't have the protective eye equipment because we're going to experiment with something. We're not going to stare at the sun or look at the sun, but we're going to enjoy what is happening without looking directly into it. Because I'm afraid I don't I don't want to miss anything. And my granddaughter, we're, we're not looking into it. I might put the camera up towards it, not directly at it, but like towards it. Like somebody said, it might ruin the lens of the camera. So I can imagine. But that protection over my eyes, like I stopped wearing sun protection. I'll wear a hat or a long sleeve shirt. I stopped wearing sun protection. I stopped, <laughs> I was going to say using protection, but that's, that's nothing to talk about here. Um, I just, I, I stopped even using shampoo and conditioner. Like I stopped putting stuff on my body that doesn't belong on my body. And this eclipse is a natural occurrence. I want to absorb whatever's coming up coming our way like I'm so excited about this what else am I bringing to the party let's see mirror ball I don't have I have reflective vinyl I can bring <laughs> I, I am pretty pretty stoked about this the lawn chairs and we live right on the canal and the river. So we're going to go up the dike is about, I don't know, maybe 20 foot high. That's about a 20 foot high dike. And then we could see the river. I'm just excited. Game on. If you put the ball in my court. <laughs> it took a lot of practicing not to, especially I could practice on the road. Like if somebody is like a real jerk and cuts me off or something, I don't have to do it back. Or if they didn't let me in front, I can let, like, like I just have to practice that. Uh, Surf City Cichlids, a lot of wisdom in that guidance from your friend. She was amazing, you know, and believe, believe it or not, she was Wiccan. She taught me how to meditate. She taught me there are many paths to get to the same place. What else? She taught me so much. She taught me so, so much. She has since passed from cancer, but... Yes, she did. I don't have to play. And she helped me a lot with when I'm feeling anxious. Here's where, what were her advice to me when I was feeling anxious and just wanted to run. Take that feeling and put it in a locket, in your imaginary locket. Put it around your neck. You still have it, but you still go through it. You just keep it in the locket and go through like if I was going to a conference and I started panicking and getting an anxiety attack, I would put all those emotions in the locket and still walk through the door. Like, this was groundbreaking for me. 
that I could still have my feelings and go on with life. Like my feelings didn't have to stop me from doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm like, she's a very wise woman, very wise. Maybe we don't need these tribe rules in writing exactly. <laughs> Funky, how's the sweetest lady in the world? I hope you are well. Isn't she? I'm telling you, I could be having a miserable day and I see Oinky from the other side of the room and already my heart is singing. And as she gets closer, she is so sweet and so soft and so genuine. Like, oh, it just is like an awesome human being has been put into my life. I love it. I love Oinky. It says, hey, Whip, I'm hurt that you unfriended me, but I will forgive you. See? <laughs> like, if somebody unfriends you, like, do you unfriend them? Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't unfriend people. Because my dad's house is on top of a big-ass hill I can see into New Jersey, including the High Point New Jersey Tower, I hope that will help with wide panoramic eclipse views tomorrow. I think it will. Oinky, did you feel the earthquake? Were you in a part of the country where you felt that earthquake? Was it yesterday? I'm so sorry, buddy. Like I said, my fingers need an intervention. Um, oh, Dan is saying hey to Mike's Aquatics. If, if you guys don't know, Mike did a live stream today. I'm going to go back and rewatch it because... There is no Tennessee Fish Mafia. Um, and let's keep Bob in our prayers. And no, it's not like, never mind. Just that's positive vibes going to Bob. <laughs> positive vibes. How's that? Uh, does that sound great? On top of a mountain. Be on top of the world looking down on creation. Oh my gosh, that's great. Yeah, I'm hoping, but you, you, if you're going to wear, you're going to be closer to the sun than I am. You wear your glasses because every year I've heard about it and in school I remember being taught it, but I think I'm going to be a rebel. There's something inside of me and I don't know what it is that's saying I don't need those glasses and I'm not telling anybody else not to wear them. I don't want anybody getting blind because of me. I'm just saying... I'm finding it very hard to trust these people that are now telling me this is what I need to do for the eclipse. And I'm thinking maybe there's something I can absorb and feel without those glasses. And I'm not going to look straight into it, so I think I'll be good. Just couldn't resist to bust your... Uh. <laughs> for the record, in this particular case, I was not being an a-hole. <laughs> Just clumsy fingers and top much of rush. Vincent's in the house. Another a-hole checking in. Rainbows and unicorns. Thank you. Like, let me tell you. Could you imagine if every... Oh, and I know I, I got, I'm like a Pollyanna type. I just want everybody to be happy. And some people like... I like that at 5 o'clock in the morning. And people are like, this too much stuff. It does not. But... It's just so much easier living life this way. It really is. <laughs> and not care. Not, not that I don't care. I don't give a... There's this, not the small stuff. There's, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that used to bother me. But that doesn't. And I don't know why. I think... Who, did, who said, try it on? Like, if you're getting irritated with somebody, find out a little bit about them and try it on. Like... Put your perspective into it and see if you would do the same thing or different. It just, it's, it's enough. And it's also a cooling off second. And it just, ugh, I got all these great people in my life that tell me lots of things to do. And I got to tell you, sometimes I don't want to do them. Sometimes the old Susie comes into play. And she's not a very nice person. Uh, she's a very self-centered, ego-driven maniac and wants what she wants when she wants it so I got to keep her in check there's probably a couple Susie's in here that one I don't let out I don't like her 
I'm not impressed with her. She's a part of me. She's a part of my past. But I don't think I am her today. I think I have changed certain things in my life that I don't act like that or think like that. Don't stop being Sue. We love you for who you are. Awesome. I, ca I tend to be a little obnoxious, and that's okay. Susie, my kids have the day off from for the eclipse. My 13-year-old is excited. She knew I have an appointment near the eclipse at 320. This is so awesome. See, and I think it's better if you're going to experience something like this is a once in our lifetime. I mean, our kids might experience more than once in their lifetime. Who knows? But if it is a once in a lifetime, don't you want that to be around family and friends and loved ones? Like, at first I was like, it's ridiculous. Why is there no school? Because of a four-minute eclipse? Like, it doesn't even make sense. And then I realized, how great is that to be with your family on something? And to talk about, like, how amazing this universe is, you know? I have a beautiful new tray designed by Q. To use for my small stuff, you did get a beautiful trinket tray. And let me tell you when that's going to air. Because I got permission from Vince that I, I didn't say his name because I didn't get permission to say his name. I forgot to ask. Darn it, I forgot to ask. Let's see, switch accounts. It's not easy being green. And then go to my channel. I have coming out... It's not YouTube Studio. Okay, you ready? Content. Content. So I just put one out of the black trays. Then I've got a, a different order. It was for somebody wanted coasters of the flat earth. And I figure coasters are flat, so I could just call them flat earth. But I had to do a little research on this one. It's, it was fun. That's coming out tomorrow. But then coasters that I made for Vincent on April 10th then I have a pond build then I have the palette that I love using dried flowers in my resin the only thing that's going to be better this summer is I'm going to be using my flowers I am learning how to dry and press flowers that comes out the 16th then more of the pond build because I'm building a pond in resin and then his large purple tray, trinket tray for all his keys and whatnots, April 23rd. And then the special presents that I made him on the sly, April 26th. That's how far out my videos are scheduled. Already done, published for that because that is what I was doing. I was going to talk about with my members about starting up videos again. But keeping it simple, keeping it simple, straight up, simple and straight up in my fish room, outside in the pond, cleaning up. Just going to start off with my members because I'm not doing videos. I haven't done videos in a while because I'm not liking what I see in the mirror. Like I don't like the physical body of Susie right now. And just being honest. But when I'm doing the resin, it's just my hands. That's all you see is my hands making things like there's no face involved. But my members deserve better. I'm going to start with the videos because I know that you guys don't care what I look like. You don't care how big I got. Like, so I'm just going to do it because it's a passion of mine and I love it. And I got, I got friends that ask me questions all the time about keeping fish that would be a whole video. Like my girlfriend wants to keep, she doesn't want to keep fish. Her kids want to keep some fish, and she wants to know how to do it. So it's not going to be talking to a person who has a passion for fish. I, I'm going to do a video talking to her, like how to set up a tank, <laughs> low maintenance, and let what you have to look out for with your kids. Like, Because believe it or not, that's a lot of people. A lot of people aren't doing research. Their kids want this. They're going to make it for them, make it happen. So I mean, that's one of my videos that's going to be. Anyway. I was told I could not wear the eclipse glasses while driving. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, don't do that. Dix says, I nearly had a heart attack Saturday morning. Jesse of Salient put me in his live. I'm going to have to go back and watch. I saw that he won a whole bunch of stuff, but it was fun. Oh, awesome. 
¿Cómo estás, Estaniel Velez? ¿Cómo estás? Asks Pexotix. And Oink Master, thank you both so much. Becoming a fish keeper led to my joy, and all of you individually and collectively become the best life changing decision I ever made. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That is so, what a nice thing to say. Red Laser says they are expecting close to a million people at Niagara Falls. Ooh, I could feel the anxiety as soon as you said that. I was like, ha. I think my little park across the street is more my speed. But wow, that's great. I've never been to Niagara Falls on either side. I have been upstate New York near there for work, but never been to Niagara Falls. Um, I just returned to fish keeping after two twenty-five or two after twenty-five year hiatus. And it's been the best decision I ever made. Awesome. Awesome. I love my presents. Thank you, Vincent. I'm glad you like them. And I love my new mold. I got a beautiful lotus mold. And it is absolutely stunning. So, of course, the first one I, I made, I had to give to Vincent. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much. What kind of try are we talking about? I drifted. <laughs> I might be behind in chat too, so I don't know. I don't know. And Oinky, I love that, right? Your crafting is so fun to see since mine is a total pause, right? And it goes like this. It goes like this. Believe me, I've been a crafter my whole life. And then that's how I got into minis, because I thought if I did things tiny, I could finish projects. And nothing changed. I do a lot of mini projects, half done. But that's why I'm trying to hold myself accountable for the um, Keystone Clash art contest. I'm trying to hold myself accountable for the Philadelphia Miniaturia National Show. I'm going to display my pond. I'm working on that pond. I'll bring it next time. Estamos bien. Espero que estás bien también. Episodics. Let me see. Estamos. I'm good. Espero. What is good? Tambien. No, I don't know the second half of that. <laughs> They've declared parts of New York a state of emergency because the influx of people flooding into the area. What? What? First of all, why would anyone go to New York? <laughs> New York State, I get. New York City, no. No. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, a tray. Oh, it's a beautiful purple tray with a tattoo of two koi doing their dance. And it's about this big. And I made it for Vincent. He ordered it with, um, it's to put your keys and your trinkets, your whatnots on there. Can't wait to see the lotus. It is gorgeous. Mi algebra que, mi alegra, mi alegra que, not you. <laughs> Estoy bien, gracias. I am well, thank you. <laughs> Estoy tratando aprender español, pero es muy difícil, muy difícil. But estoy tratando aprender. Very hard. That's what Rico said. <laughs> That's what Rico said. That's what Rico said. Wait, state of emergency is because the load on the cell phone. Oh, the cell phone towers. Who cares if cell phones go down? Do cops use cell phones? Ambulance drivers? If they use cell phone towers, then yeah, but don't they use these so-called satellites? Like, that's the part I don't understand. The influx was so bad here in Idaho. Oh, wow. See, I don't know. Maybe my park across the street is going to be inundated wow if so then i'm staying in my yard because i'm right across the street from my park but i have trees i have trees in my yard just signed a new leash congratulations you know who else is now a homeowner and bought a house scotty where is scotty yo hablo un poco también mm, hablo un poco mm. And officially got the keys. Congratulations. 
I am starting to also teach my granddaughter because I think it's it'd be in her best interest to know how to speak Spanish, maybe American Sign Language, you know. Good job on the Spanish translation. Oh, did I do well? Thank you. You know how I am learning? Pimsleur. The Pimsleur language teaching structure is all audio. So I couldn't do what's the one that a lot of people was at a stone because it was sitting down in front of a computer. I don't have the patience for that. So with Pimsleur, I'm getting to hear it and speak it and understand it, but my writing it, not so good. Not so good. See, si. Muy bien. I love it. I love it. Ooh, yeah. Muy, I know what you meant. I know what you meant, girl. I know what you meant. Did I talk about my pond? Yes, I talked about that being outside and how overwhelming it is. I'm going to have to start tiny, like super, super tiny. Like, whoa, I can't even. I can't even. I heard Indiana declared a state of emergency because this is the best place in the U.S. to see the eclipse. And so people are going to flock there. I mean, gather there, right? <laughs> Wow. So I guess I'm not the only one excited about this. That's good. I'm glad. I have a couple of friends that are kind of scared about it. I'm like, what are you scared of? Hello, Aqua Balls. Hello, Aqua Balls. The Oinky, did you ever tell me if you felt the earthquake? I, I sent a text to my cousin up in Connecticut. I feel the earth move under my feet he started laughing because he saw on the news and he felt it too up in connecticut i feel the sky tumbling down that was funny hello hello you're just in time for me to say goodbye goodbye i am going to bed that's for sure it is eight o'clock um i i don't think i think we still have i'm gonna do school tomorrow but i'm gonna have it focused around the earthquake, the eclipse, the earth, the surroundings, the trees and nature. That's what our lessons are going to be pretty much focused on tomorrow. To keep everything on the same page. You know, just to keep everything on the same page. And it's really good that our Delaware River is a tidal river. Because there's a lot of rivers out there that don't go both ways. <laughs> Get it? My sister's kids are lucky to be as young as they are now. But old enough to remember tomorrow, right? So is Zoe, because she's nine. They will have an opportunity to see another solar eclipse of just 20 years from now. Isn't that great? Susie, do another hour so I don't have to stop and do something else. <laughs> I got to do something else. <laughs> I wish I could. Oh, man, I wish I could. Kalish. Thank you, Miss Cuban. Lurking and cleaning. <gasps> See, that's something I don't do enough. I do lurk all the time, but I don't clean. <laughs> Sometimes I do. Sometimes I clean my fish tanks when I'm lurking. But if I'm upstairs and lurking, I'm just vegging out. I'm literally just sitting there with the, the phone. Sometimes I put you guys up on the big screen. There you are on my big old TV set. You just can't I just can't comment as much. So I lurk. But it's fun to see my friends right up there on the TV. It's like, you're TV stars to me. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you guys for coming out. What a great, what a great day. What a great day. This is going to be a great week. I can tell. Hey, Aquaballs, I was hoping you would be at the Coast meeting today. I was going to introduce myself. Oh, man. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Maybe next time, huh? Maybe next time. Ooh, so I can't wait to next week to talk about what happened. And I want to give progress reports of how it's going outside because I want to be able to do my live streams outside again. So I'm just waiting for it to be like from 7 to 8. That's not dark. I'm in Jersey. Wife and grandsons were nervous for most of the quake. Nothing happened. That's good. Only some things fell to the floor. Same here. 
same here, same here. I, I was pretty excited because it was first for me. Like, this is an actual earthquake. Because uh, at first I was nervous. I thought a truck had come off the highway and was coming into the house. It was that loud. But, ah, uh, what? That's what I'm packing. I'm having to move from room with headphones and no TV. Ooh, that's, what about packing? I'm having to move from a room with headphones and no TV. Okay. I think I read that right. Did I read that right? Hey, bunny. Bubba bu bunny. Just in time for me to say good night. And I hope everybody enjoys my daughter, Sarah. If she's still in here, she'll be able to hear herself, which I, I know she loves. I love listening to her. So good night, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I got a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Na na, hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, so come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q.